said, How many hearts servant of my father have bread enough and to stand? And I perish with hunger. I will arise and go to my father. Say unto him, Father, I've sinned against heaven and before thee. I know more worthy to be called thy son. Make me as one of thy hired servants. I want to just talk for a minute if you don't mind simply about my New Year's resolution. My New Year's resolution. These words that are tucked in that are shared in chapter 15 echoes from the voice of the prodigal son. Simply says, I resolve. It is my resolution that I will arise. I will get up from here. I wanted to just die again to lift up a few nuggets because in 2017, Somebody need to make a new resolution. Somebody need to understand that regardless of what 2016 dealt to you, that you're never out of the reach of the hand of the master. This 15th chapter involved this lostness situation. A lost sheep. A lost corn. But also a lost son. With, with different uh, attitudes and different approach. For the Bible said when the sheep got lost that he left the 99 and went looking until he found the lost sheep. When the corn got lost, the woman swept, she rearranged, she cleaned her house and searched diligently till she found the corn that was lost. But in this spring, when we get out, to the lost son that nobody went cleaning. Nobody went searching. Nobody put him on their look up agenda. He wasn't on Facebook, he wasn't on Snapchat, he wasn't on none of that social stuff. Nobody went looking. But I like what Bible said that when he came to himself. 2017, some of us need to just come to ourselves. You've been outside of yourself. You ain't been yourself lately. You've been acting crazy. You need to come to yourself. He, 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 he you, you know how he came to his father and ask for the portion that belonged to him. The Bible said as soon as he received what the Father gave him, that he took a trip to a far country. He, he got out of God. He left home. He got far away from instructions. He left where he had curfew. Boundaries, rules, and regulations. Pastor, that's why some folks ain't in our church now. They don't like no more rules and regulations. This boy is like some of your members. He said, I'm out of here. And, and ain't that something? They want to get out at your expense. He went such a, he said, I want to get out that he, he moved out and first of all, he, he made some foolish 
decision. And then he had some bad management. He moves, he leaves, he gets away. And there are some people, your family folks, your friend folks, your church folks, they try their best to get as far away from you as they can. But I wanted to just look at this boy, at least three or four things. I want to talk about number one, a far country. Number two, a famine in the land. But then number three, favor, favor of the father. And then favor in the father's love. Look at it, look at it. I wanted to just hang him out there, hang him out there. He's in a far country. He's making foolish decisions and he's doing some bad management. As I know the text said, that after he get out there, not long he spends all. That's foolish, ain't it? You ought not spend everything. You ought not get broke. You ought not spend everything. He spent everything that he had. He made a decision to leave home and get far away as he could. He leaves his father's house. He leave and get out on his own and get to a far country. Now, a far country, you don't have to go to Delta. You don't have to go Southwest. You don't have to get the bus. You don't have to go in a car. Some of y'all sitting right here. But your mind is in a far country. We in 2017, you still pounding over some stuff that happened last year. You in church, but you ain't here. You sitting up looking in your eyes, but your mind is in a far country. You here counting about what could have, should have, who he was, what a miss, how could have had him. You here in a far country, he moved from his father's house. In a far country, can be anywhere you can find yourself in a strange situation. Look at it, he makes some foolish decision. He, he, he goes and joins himself, yeah, as a citizen of that country. Many of us in 2017 are so far away from the presence of the Lord. We don't want to call his name. We don't want him on our agenda. We want to use him like a tool. He gets there. But then he found out even as far as he would go. He discovered trouble was everywhere. At home he had room. But in the far country he had a family. At home he had a family. But in a far country he had a family. At home, he had a, a brother and he had a son. But in the far country, he soon got lonely. Famine in the land. And this famine drove him to do things that he wouldn't ordinarily do. But when you get in trouble, you make poor decisions. But of all, he spent his money. He's away from home. Don't have anybody to turn to. And he finds himself making him a citizen of that country. Getting a job to feed the swine. Oh, that feeding swine would be the last thing on a Jewish for a gentleman. Feeding swine. Yeah, but when you get messed up, you just do that because of where you are. When you're in a far country and put it out and discover that there's a drought, there's a famine in the land. Yes, he's now, his time is against him. He's changing his religious belief. He's going against his upbringing. 
and goes out and finds himself at the hawk in fish, feeding the swine. But if that's not bad enough, not only is he there feeding, but while he is feeding, his mind starts turning. And the Bible said that he desired the husk that the swine did eat. In other words, his taste for change. You used to like that stuff. You drink, you just start nibbling on it. You used to put on that drug, you just start hanging with the wrong people that got hooked on. And here he is now watching the hogs eat. And saying to himself, I wish that I had some slop to go in my belly. Look at him. Uh, he, he, he's a guest of his health. He's a guest of his family and his strength. Because you would understand that when he left home, he had some so-called friends that only stuck with him when his money was right. Yeah. Only stayed when he was putting the bill. Yeah. But now, look at it now, but I thank God that in the midst of it, yeah. he said, I know what I'm going to do. Yeah. I will arise. And that ought to be somebody's new revolution that this year won't catch me in the same position that I was in last year. Because I'm not going to sit here and watch life just pass me by. If you want to make a change, if you want to have a New Year's resolution, you got to make a and I like uh, the move, he said, I'm going uh, to arrive. Uh, when you stand up, uh, can't nobody sit on you. When you stand up, uh, people uh, have to recognize you. But when you lay down, they'll trample all the But he says, I've been down long my determination, my New Year resolution is I'm going to arrive. 2017 have a blessing for you, but it's not coming to your bedroom. 2017 got victories for you, but nobody is bringing a job in your TV. You got a you gotta ride uh, and get off of uh, your seat of contentment. He said, I'm gonna get up from here because too many blessings are passing me back. Yeah, I will, yeah, a personal pronoun. Don't wait for nobody to pick you up. Go on and get up. I feel illegal clarity. No, I'm not just thinking about it. I'm not just speculating. I will arrive. In other words, I'm going to jump into the action this year. I'm going to make something happen. I'm going to be ready when opportunity presents itself. Somebody here for a hair job, but when it was time to go to work, you didn't even have your life in you know. order. Yeah, sit around all day with your pajama, come back, you looking for a job. Sitting around in the daytime, in your nightclub, and in the nighttime, got on your day clothes. You know what I'm saying? Dress up on uh, the go to bed. And then dress down uh, they go outside. You gotta learn uh, how to be ready to ride uh, from your uh, predicament.
me. Look at him saying, I know yeah, I made a bad choice. I know it's my fault that I am in this situation. But I'm getting ready to make a move, you know. I'm going around and I'm going, I'm going back home. I'm going to go to my father's house and I'm going to tell my father, father, I know I've done wrong. Yeah, father, I've been through a family. Yeah, when you're in a family, it'll drive you in some bad situation. But listen what he said, I got so much of my favor in my heart. Until, though I'm in the pen, I can still see back home. And I got so much of my confidence in my father until uh, if I can just get that yeah I've got my speech already there no more excuses I'm on your upper and stand up and I'm gonna tell my father you didn't to myself. All I'm trying to do is to get back in the house. Yeah. Is there anybody here got faith in the fire? I hear that boy saying, if I get back home, I see something that call my fire. Got bread and another to spare. Yeah, I'm on the hoping fence, but I can see you back at the house. And my father, yes, he got servants 24 7. And my father, he got extra room. And it's the food to eat. And I'm going home. Look at it, y'all. When you get on the hog pen fence, you want to have some pork pen. So when you get down, you want to learn what to say and have a brand new testimony. And I hear that voice saying, I'm going home. If I could just get in this presence, if I could just get close enough, my situation would be ready to change. Because in my father's house, there a many things look at him now. Now, yeah, do I see a far country? Not only is there a family in the land? But there is faith in the, in the father. He knew that his father can help him out of that condition. Don't you hear our father saying, I'll never leave, and now will I forsake you. But have faith in the power. I want it to possess.
take this part. I wanted to bring up the situation so you and I would know in 2017 that there is some help available. Is 